Today's VRS quick tutorial is for the Ferrari 488 GT3 Challenge at Circuit de Spa Francorchamps. I am VRS coach Pablo Lopez and now I will be showing you how to get fast and consistent lap times. In turn 1, from your previous lap, you will be approaching turn 1, lasers far left in 4th gear. Start your braking 2 car lengths before the 100 meters mark. You should brake at 75% maximum pressure, then shift down to 1st gear and continue trail braking. Start your turn in at the texture change in the track on the left. You will need a lot of steering angle and you should use all of the curb and accelerate early to maximize the speed down the straight. You should exit wide but avoid the astroturf and 1x on the left. For the approach to Eau Rouge, you should move as far as right possible and upshift to 5th. Turn in when you have the two corners line up and attack the curb aggressively like this. And as the curb ends, start your turn in right and place in two tires on the curb but be careful on the grass. For the third apex, straighten the car up and attack it aggressively, but be careful you don't cut too much and get a slowdown penalty. Your inertia will carry you to the right side of the track, where you will continue down until you reach the kink, where you will move to the left side of the track for your approach to the less comes chicane. Just before the curb, you should start your braking at 75% maximum pressure with two tires on the curb and downshift into second gear. Start the turning where the curb ends. Trail breaking into the apex and attacking the curb quite aggressively, then sacrifice the exit to set up the next corners in sequence. You should control the throttle, attack the curb aggressively and sacrifice the exit to set up the third corner. Next, put the car on the left, go full throttle, then a quick lift before getting back into the throttle way before the curb in third gear. Clip the curb and exit wide, but avoid astroturf and the 1x penalty. Coming into rewatch, approach into it far left in fourth gear and brake a car length or so before the curb, braking at no more than 75% maximum pressure. Down into second gear, then turn in where the apex curb starts on the right, stay tight on the curb, get down into first and then let the car roll as you bring it around. Control the throttle and sacrifice the exit before you go full throttle, then get back into the right as you upshift into second gear. For turn 9, clip the curb on the right about here, then throw the car into the apex corner as you continue trail braking at no more than 50% to help rotate the car. Clip the car slightly, then open the line wide, but don't use the astroturf or you will get an off-track penalty. Come back to the tarmac before the curb ends. Now approaching into Pujon, far right in fourth gear, with two tires on the curb mandatory, and just before the red door on the right, you should start your braking at 50% maximum pressure. Turn in a little bit before the curb ends and downshift into third. Continue trail braking, but stay off the curb as it will unsettle the car. At the apex, go to full throttle which will open the line wide naturally and you should clip the outside curb but not too much then up to fourth keep rotating the car and clip the second apex curb then exit wide into the exit curb then come back to the left side to approach into the next corner arriving in fifth gear you need to start braking a car or so before the curb on the left brake no more than 75 percent maximum pressure and shift down into third gear as you turn in and downshift into second continue trail braking this is really late apex so maintain the line tight, start accelerating but sacrifice the exit to set up the next left-hander. You will briefly hit full throttle before you lift and rotate the car to the left and shift to third before you get back into the throttle. Clip the apex curb and back to full throttle as you exit wide, but be careful as it's really easy to get an off-track penalty here, going wide into the track and get back to the tarmac before the curb ends, then immediately move to the left to approach into turn 14. Approach with two tires on the dirt and start your braking before putting two tires into the curb. Brake 50% maximum, get down into second and start your turning in in the middle of the left side curb. Accelerate aggressively before the apex and clip the curb like this. Exit wide into the astroturf but probably no more than this to avoid the 1x penalty. Start your turning in with a breath lift and clip the curb as you maintain full throttle. And on exit clip the curb but then immediately move back to the right side of the track and continue to upshift into fifth. Move back into the middle after the kink and you will approach to turn 16, get the car as close as possible to the white line on the left, then get as right as possible before Blanchimont. You should continue full throttle and get close to the curb without touching it, exit wide into the curb but get back into the tarmac before it ends to avoid the 1x penalty. Move from right to left to approach the final chicane and start your braking as soon as you cross the 150 meter mark. You should brake at 75% maximum pressure and you will downshift into first. Be sure to stay far left before trail braking into the corner and then get your tires as close as you can into the sausage without touching it. 
Next, sacrifice the exit and accelerate, then lift and throw right while attacking the curb like this, control the throttle on exit, opening the line wide naturally, exit wide using all of the curb and a little astroturf, but be careful and get back into the tarmac before the curb ends to avoid any penalty and finish the lap. I am Pablo Lopez and this has been a quick tutorial of the Ferrari 488 GT3 Challenge at Circuit de Spa Francorchamps. For a full tutorial, sign up at virtualracingschool.com.